Hey Browns Row ISD, I'm Zoe McGee. And I'm Jennifer Duran, and we're seniors at Browns Row High School. Here's what happened this week in Bear Nation. Last week was homecoming, and everybody had a blast dressing up for Spirit Week. We ended the week with a district-wide homecoming pep rally, where everyone got to show their spirit. When the dust settled, Browns Row Intermediate had the most spirit and won the spirit stick. Later that night, Emily Womack was crowned homecoming queen. Congrats to Emily, and thank you for being a great role model. This morning, when the cheerleaders got up and went to school, they went to school, but not the high school. Instead, they went to Brownsboro Elementary and greeted the children as they walked into class. They also went to different classrooms just to hang out and sing the fight song. This morning, our Brownsboro Bears were giving back by reading to kids at Chandler Elementary. This is a great example of what Bear Nation is all about. Not only are the players enhancing these kids' thirst for knowledge, but they are also exemplifying the qualities of true leadership. They also got to have a little fun and dance with some of the kids. Way to go, Brownsboro Bears! CCC recently held a contest for a $100 gift certificate on Facebook. CES Library won the most votes for the certificate and were able to purchase new books for their school library that are now available for checkout in their library for every student. We would like to thank our parents and community for voting. Great things just keep on happening in Bear Nation. Yesterday at the Superintendent Teacher Advisory Council meeting, the members talked about the importance of having a growing mindset. One activity they took part in was sharing positive phrases and responses to fixed mindset statements students may have. How cool are these teachers? College auditions are taking place for our juniors and seniors involved in theater. They are participating in the Texas Educational Theater Association Theater Fest Convention. At this convention, they have the opportunity to audition for 40 plus universities and conservatories. This is a wonderful opportunity for these kids to show their skills. Wish them luck as they will be auditioning today. Those! Haven't you heard of Lucky Tray Days yet? It's all everyone's been talking about. Lucky Tray Days have begun during lunchtime at the four lower grade campuses this week. How does that work? There are a couple of trays marked during each lunch. If a student happens to get a lucky tray, after lunch they can redeem it for various prizes. Aw, uh, do only lower grade campuses get to participate? <laughs> no, of course not. At the high school and junior high campuses, they begin breakfast scratch-off campaign. Students who eat breakfast will receive a scratch-off and could win drinks, snacks, ice cream, or entrees. After weeks of trying to come up with a name for the tailgating area and receiving over 100 submissions on name suggestions, it came down to two options, Bruno's Backyard or The Den. The winner just so happened to be The Den by a landslide of votes. Thank you to everyone who submitted suggestions and to everyone who voted. If you haven't heard already, some of our National Honor Society students will be traveling to England this coming spring break. This is the first time any school organization has had an opportunity like this one. In an effort to raise money for their trip, they are hosting a garage sale tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the BHS front parking lot. All proceeds will go towards their trip, so be sure to come out tomorrow morning. I'm Jennifer Duran. And I'm Zoe McGee. That's it for this week. Have a great weekend, Bear Nation.